uh, would they want they were going to look at mathematics and five limits and continuity and was going to deal with L hospitals rule. So let's say we are given an equation like this the limit of x approaching 3 into x to the power 3 plus 27 all over x to the power 2 minus 9. When we apply direct substitution here, we are going to end up with 0 over 0. So to avoid this, to avoid 0 over 0, we are going to apply this rule, which is called L hospital rule. So, the rule states that when we are given the limit of when x approaches a into f of x over gx, When we apply L hospital rule, it means that we are going to differentiate f of x and g of x independently. This is going to be equal to f prime of x all over g prime of x. This is our and hospital rule. So we're going to apply this rule to simplify our equation. Okay. Our equation is here. Let me write it properly here so that it can be clear. Okay, we have the limit of x approaching 3 into x cubed plus 27 all over x squared minus 9. So, okay, we're going to apply our rule to simplify here. So, when every time you apply this rule, you must state that you're applying and Hospital or hospital rule. Every time you apply this rule, you must state that you are applying the rule. Also, write 0 over 0 here. Equal to 0 over 0 and write a hospital rule. Okay, so we are going to differentiate. our top part and our bottom part independently like what the rule states here because if we apply direct substitution we end up having 0 over 0 so to avoid that we apply the rule so this is going to be equal to this is going to be equal to limit when x approaches 3. When we differentiate our top part, we are going to end up with 3x squared over 2x. We are going to end up with 3x squared and our bottom part, when we differentiate our bottom part, are going to end up with 2x. So this means that we have differentiated our top part independently and our bottom part independently as our rule states. As L hospital's rule states that we must differentiate f of x and g of x independently.
Okay. So this is going to be equal to, now we can take our three and substitute it inside our equation. Okay, this is going to be three into three squared. All over two into three. So three into three squared, this is going to be simply three multiplied by three squared is nine. 3 squared is 9 over 2 times 3 is 6 so this is going to be 3 times 9 which is 3 times 9 is what? 3 times 9 is 27 over 6 3 times 9 is 27 over 6 so this is going to be 27 oh sorry it's 27 This is going to be equal to 27 over 6 as our final answer. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. And please subscribe to my channel.